Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this video, we'll be discussing the best Dial E prompt guides and how to generate amazing images with AI fast. Make sure you share this video with your good friends. I'm going to jump right over to Dial E. Now, the key to artificial intelligence when it comes to the image generation is the ability to come up with the prompts that will provide you with the images. I'm just quickly scrolling through many of the images that I've been testing. Make sure you check out the videos in the series and you'll see the context where I was making these videos here in Dow E. Now remember, Dow E, you have to purchase credits. So it's not free to to make these images, it cost you a little bit of something. I think it was right around 13 cents is what I did on the math. So in order to get the image, you need to get the prompt. Well, how are you gonna get the prompt? All right, listen, send me a direct message on Twitter or subscribe. When you subscribe, you're gonna get all of the resources I'm gonna share with you here today. But just send me a DM on Twitter at HowYAI and I will send you the list. We're gonna be talking about how you can get the best images. Now let's jump over here to the first resource. This is drawingprompt.com. And you can use this resource to get ideas, to get your creativity juices flowing. And so what you could do, you can click the button here to give you a new prompt and you can take this text if I understand this correctly all right and you can take this text and let's see what type of image we'll get I'm just gonna drop this over here and I hate to get too many images in my history but I gotta do what I gotta do to help you get to where you gotta go right we're all on the same path so here's a prompt from the first resource let's see what it gives us the text said a pixie flitting through a campsite after everyone has gone to sleep or just before dawn looking for mischief to get into. Perhaps they are looking at a sleeping adventure. Okay, would you have written a prompt that way? Let's see if, and here's what Dow E came up with using that prompt. So it just shows how creative you can get with your writing when it comes to the prompt. And it didn't provide very much in terms of how the image should look. But if you were if you were writing some type of a story involving a campsite or something like that, this thing's talking about a campsite after everyone's gone to sleep. So that can kind of give you, you know, some relevant imagery to go with your story. So if you're using this as an entrepreneur, boom, now you got some images. All right. So let's jump to the next resource. That was the first one. That was drawingprompt.com. We'll go to the second one, which is fraser.tech. Fraser.tech. Now, this one, it says that you can unleash your creativity with AI. It has some other uses in this particular, in this website, and you can check out the pricing. My understanding is that you do have you have you can go ahead and select these images and you can get the information so here here are some pretty cool looking all right so this portrait of this individual so I'll copy this I'll copy this prompt portrait of this Pierre Sabade Sabade by Greg Rutowski. Okay, he's a Jedi Knight. He's all right. Let's see what we got going on. I'm gonna drop this over here. 
I'm going to start back over in Dali. Delete that, and I'm going to drop in this prompt. Let's see what Dali generates. Now, there are other... Dali is not the only AI image generator. There are some other ones. Now, look at what it came up with. This is pretty cool. I got to tell you, the, the image generators, they just continually blow me away. This is... Look how much more impressive this the images that this prompt delivered from the first group right first we were on kind of you know what i mean uh you know children's book hand sketch type drawings now we're getting to a whole nother level and these are all images that i can use commercially with no problems super impressed with this Okay, let's go to the next one, and you can just click around these sites. I'm not going to take too long on e either one, because you can obviously go there. You can go there, and you can do some testing. So now we got the prompt builder. We're going to prompt promptomania.com. Promptomania, okay? And... It says it's going to create detailed prompts for AI art instantly. All right. So use the generic prompt builder. Okay. For AI. And it'll allow me to build a prompt. Okay. And so I can add information about that prompt. I'm not going to go through all of that now. I just want to kind of show you what you can do. I may do a follow-up on this particular tool. So let's just say, for example, and see, it'll give you the same instructions for the other AI builders. So make sure you check out Promptomania. I have not used this very much, but it is useful in building the prompts. So you'll have to you'll have to mess with this one. I haven't done it very much, but check this one out and I'll have to report back. Okay, let's jump to the next one. This one is generated.com. And I like this one because it does give me the prompts. So let's check out. We can browse around to the images. I think this was the one I liked from earlier. So I'm gonna copy this prompt information. Let's see what Dow E gives me using that same prompt. Now, I got to tell you, that was very, very, it's a, it's a three, an astronaut, photograph, cinematic lighting. It's not a lot of information here, right? Let's see what Dali does with it. This is the part of it that is really interesting. There are different generators. So look at what you got with just those three little words and this is what really it just continues i just boom now you have these astronaut images i'm getting a, i'm getting the impression that dali likes astronauts it likes to draw astronaut pictures it's excellent at drawing astronauts why is that post in the comments okay so here are some really cool images which one is your favorite if you're writing some science fiction work then you have a great resource to get images. All right. That came from generated.com. Generated.com. Okay, going to the next one. It's Dal Dallas. Dallas as in Dal Ist. All right. So here you can browse some of the images. 35 35 millimeter and it helps you kind of build your prompt so you can you can use this to get an understanding of the attributes that you can use in your prompts so you can go in here and you can say if I start from scratch you can go in and you can say okay I want 35 millimeter photo I want um, I want a drone view right because I can go into effects and angles uh, I want it to look like a particular photograph, so I'm going to add David LaChapelle, his style to it, right? But I haven't 
told this what I want a picture of, so I need to type something therein. So I'm going to just take the adjectives, the descriptive terms, over here to dial E. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it something that I want to have 35 millimeter photo drone view and by David LaChapelle. So let's just say a man, a, a, a man with a lion for a head. <laughs> okay. A man with a lion for a head. Let's see. Let's see what. Dow E does right here. Okay, I'm gonna let it work. Let's see what it does. And um, it's coming back pretty quick. Maybe it's not that many people on here tonight. Okay, all right. It, it kind of came up with some creative stuff here. A man with a lion for a head. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So that's the first pass. All right, that's the first pass. I don't want to burn a bunch of, of my dial E credits on this particular example, but that just kind of shows you what you can do there. All right. And you can mess around with some of these attributes. That's dial ist, dial list, dial list. All right. Okay, now let me jump to the next one. This is dial, dial E2 prompt generator. Don't worry about the URL. I will send you a link. And this thing is a, is a random image prompt generator you just click this button and it just comes up with prompts you just click this button and it comes up with prompts and it's pretty cool it comes up with some pretty descriptive prompts and based on whatever your niche or whatever it is you're working on you can just modify that key piece of the prompt and you'll have a really cool outcome so here is a gorilla playing football while eating a cantaloupe in a basement painting by Andy Warhol right so let's say your your particular niche uh, was about not a gorilla, but let's say another type of animal. So you could substitute that information, okay? Or if you're not playing football, it's playing chess, okay? Maybe it's playing chess, okay? So I'm going to say a gorilla playing chess while eating cantaloupe in a basement painting by Andy Warhol. Let's see what we get, right? <laughs> so he's not playing basketball, he's playing chess, okay? And again, remember, Dial E also gives you tips. I didn't put it itself as a. So here's the results. Now, remember, some of these images, especially when you use the artist style, you know, you can get creative. And a lot of this imagery, it will look good on the wall. You can get these printed and use them in your house for interesting art, man. OK, but commercially, these will work well for whatever you're trying to do in your business. You're going to need visual aids. All right. So now you don't have to mess around in Photoshop. You can use the robot. Okay. So that's the generator. I like that. One. Now the next one is a publication that was put out last summer. It's called the Dow E2 Prompt Book. Now this one is not like any of the resources that we've covered so far. This is a little bit more research, a little bit more background, a little bit more detail um, in into what we're doing. So this isn't just going to be, hey, go grab some prompts and, and paste them. You're going to get a little bit more information about the different styles of art and the history so you can really tie it all together and come up with some incredible results for your business all right so make sure you check out this this is the prompt book make sure you check it out the link is going to be there when you subscribe but just go ahead and send me a dm on twitter and i will hook you up okay and the last resource the last resource on the list which i use continuously this is my favorite and that's prompt hero prompt hero i'm addicted to prompt hero I love the images. I'm just blown away. I don't know what to tell you. It's just I can't I can't get over it. Post in the comments which one of these resources you are most impressed with. And if you're aware of others that I may have left off the list, make sure you add them in the comments. 
At this point in time, I want to thank you for liking this video. If you didn't like this video, make sure you share it with someone who will. Until the next time, I'm Darnell Jackson. Peace.